everyone and thanks so much for joining me today. I know this came out a little bit late, um, but I was having a ton of little technical difficulties with this new um, screen capture software that I was using. So uh, I probably won't ever use this software again and uh, I'll talk about that in a vlog later on this week. So let's just get right to it. So you may have already noticed that this video is a bit longer than usual and there's a reason why for that. Sometimes I really struggle with my work because I kind of feel like it needs to be perfect. Like the first time that I do it, it needs to just come out absolutely 100% perfect. And um, I really wanted to capture my process here because that is anything but true. And with any artist, any creative person, any musician, writer, anybody, they don't just spit out a perfect piece. Like it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of struggle and it takes a lot of figuring things out to get that piece, that piece of music, that piece of writing to where it needs to be. And sometimes the unfortunate part about the internet and social media, especially with artists, is that sometimes it can give this illusion that everything is perfect the first time that you do it. I mean, I myself am guilty of this. Like I only post my absolute best work. I only post my absolute most perfect pieces like I don't want people to see like my sketches or like the the piece that I screwed up on or the piece I didn't end up finishing because I didn't like it so I decided to keep this part of the recording in the video today just as a reminder both to myself and to anybody else who's really struggling with their art is that struggling is part of the process and it's something that you need to do in order to improve and in order to make yourself better like without struggle, there is no improvement. And I can attest that this particular piece led to a major improvement that I never would have achieved had I just given up on it. Okay, so now with all that being said, let's just go ahead and start talking about this piece in particular. So my struggle started right off the bat just because I haven't painted digitally in a really long time. I think my last finished digital piece was completed I think over a year ago. So making the switch from traditional to digital can sometimes throw you off a little bit. Um, like when you're working in a sketchbook you can look down and see your hand with the pencil and you can see your hand creating that sketch or whatever just right there on the sketchbook. Um, but when you're working digitally you're using a tablet it's different because your hand is not in the same place where the piece is being created. Your hand is on the tablet, but the piece is being created on the screen. But since I've been working more traditionally for a while, um, it was a little bit of a struggle to get back into the swing of digital art. So then on top of trying to remember how to properly work with a tablet, came trying to remember how to paint digitally and how to do it well. Um, there is all kinds of tutorials and things that I've looked up over the years on how to create um, a realistic painting in Photoshop and just none of the techniques that I had learned about were working for me. Um, my values were coming out so weird, the face just started looking really strange when I tried to apply values to it. Um, the colors I was happy with, I was really happy with my color palette and the colors that I had chosen, but then when it came down to refining everything, it just it wasn't coming together and it would just look so strange and just not, just not anything what I imagined it to look like. And so I was trying all kinds of different techniques and I was just struggling so, so much with this piece. Um, I had a couple moments where I honestly thought about just, you know, just giving up and just walking away and, you know, I was also thinking about maybe just, you know, printing out the line work and then just doing it in colored pencil or in marker or something. Um, but I made the decision to keep trying and keep trying to figure something out because I was really hopeful that something would happen that would make this turn out the way that I wanted it to.
So after working at this for what seemed like hours and hours and hours, I just decided that I needed to take a break and walk away. Um, I just knew that the more that I tried to work at this, the more frustrated I was going to get. And so I just decided to just, you know, take a break, walk away, blow off some steam and try to figure things out. Um, so while I was doing that, I looked up some of my favorite YouTubers just to see what they were up to. And one of my favorite YouTubers, I'll actually leave a link to her channel down below. She's amazing. Um, I noticed that one of the things that she does is that she is really big on line work. Like she lets her line work do a lot of the communicating when it comes to values and distance and a lot of other things. Um, she does use color, but not so much in a sense where it's like super like painterly or super like photorealistic. It looks more like her style is more like a graphic novel kind of style. Um, and so I was just looking at some of her videos and some of her work and I'm just like, you know what? Let's give this a shot. You know, let's try this less is more approach and see what happens. And it all just came together for me. I just basically started over and just focused on line work and letting my lines communicate the things I wanted to communicate. Um, so just like the flow of her hair, um, the features on her face, um, you know, just some of the values of where the light was hitting. It just amazed me the kind of things that line work can communicate rather than color. Um, and it was just so much fun to do. I was finding a lot of enjoyment and a lot of satisfaction in creating these lines and just kind of making things go the direction that I wanted them to go. Like, especially with the braids, like it was really fun to, you know, draw out each individual line to show like where each piece of hair was being tucked into the next braid. And it just looked, it just felt a lot more real to me. And I was just getting so much more enjoyment out of this piece after I started working that way. And I'm also really glad that I went in this direction because line work in general has always been a struggle for me. When we had to do pieces like this in college, my professors would consistently tell me that I don't vary my line weights enough, I shouldn't keep my lines like the exact same weight or the exact same thickness um, because then the piece ends up being very flat. And I'm a very stubborn person and sometimes I just don't listen. Um, but then the more I look back on some of my old pieces, I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, I should have taken what they said into consideration. Um, and so it was fun just to be able to, you know, erase a line and make it a little thicker, a little thinner, you know, make it just right. Um, I mean, that's a wonderful part about Photoshop is that it's very, very, very forgiving when it comes to things like that. And then once the colors started to come in, it was just like, ugh, it just all came together so, so nicely. Um, and I really loved playing around with the gradient tool for these braids. Um, I really wanted to do this ombre effect, and the gradient tool was obviously the perfect tool to use for that. And, um, and then once it came to the highlights and the shadows, um, I was able just to put in this blue color and just set it to overlay, and it worked it worked perfectly and then I could add some bits and pieces of white to add in some highlights and you know it was great like I didn't have to go through this huge complicated process to make sure that there were good values in there so yeah I am just so happy with how this piece turned out I am so so pleased with it and I hope that any of you who are watching that are struggling with your work can at least walk away knowing that you know if you're struggling it's not a bad thing and that sometimes you just need to change your technique or change up your tools or change up just a little something and I can guarantee that you know things will go in a much better direction and it might even turn out better than you originally thought. So with all of that being said I know this was a lot of talking today um, thank you so much for watching this video um, and by the way if you guys like hearing me talk about my pieces like this please let me know um, and I'll try to talk more about my process as well as just about the piece itself. I know I really didn't touch base with what the piece was about and like my inspirations behind this particular piece, um, but today I just really wanted to talk about the process and the struggle. 
Um, so if you like hearing about stuff like that, just let me know. If you don't, you know, let me know too. That's fine. Um, I am always looking for feedback on how to make my videos better. And of course, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I tried to post videos at least once a week. And again, this was just an exception because of a bunch of technical difficulties. Um, but I'm looking to get back on schedule very soon. So with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.